What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today McLaren Ascot are the biggest heroes ever. We've got a fantastic beautiful blue sky ahead of us and also a fantastic beautiful Iridium Blue MSO Paint £9,000 optional extra McLaren 650S Spider behind me and today I have been given the keys to drive this car. When I drove the McLaren 570S from McLaren London and had it for the weekend I absolutely loved it but I wanted to know the difference between this car and the 570 so today I'm filming two videos, the first impressions on the McLaren 650S but also 570S and this back to back so that I can really understand the differences on the two cars. So without further ado let's jump into this car and let's go for a spin. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, these are my first meters in the McLaren 650S. And if we're talking about first impressions, all I can see is baby blue. Slightly different exhaust tone to it. I'm going to put it into manual. Slightly different exhaust tone to it. A little bit more like the 12C. A long swooping dash. This whole centre console is super cool. The spec on this car is just incredible. They went all out. Oh, it does sound good. Oh, <laughs> This is all a bit crazy driving this car. This is 262,000 pounds in one car. And I'm driving it. So you can tell by the smile on my face. I think just the combination of the roof off, the blue everywhere, and the fact that I'm driving a McLaren. It's come from Formula One, this car. It's gonna build up to the... <laughs> yeah, this feels quicker. Let's put the windows up. It feels quicker. It feels louder, but maybe that's because we're missing this part of the car. But I'll tell you one thing, it, uh, McLaren has got a right in the way that this car handles and, and just sits on the road. It's so smooth. And, oh man, I can see why Tim likes McLaren. We've got an open road. Let's put the Super Series from McLaren to the test. Whoa! The delivery of power is so different to the 570. I wasn't expecting it. It's so much more progressive, and I know that the engine's cold, so it will take some time for this car to get really crazy. Let's get back. Whoa. The exhaust, it sounds smoother, and there's no brake of traction in the rear wheels like there is in the 570. But you get some cr crackles yeah. and pops and things like that. God, this car is insane. The turbo is just whirring up. Whoa. I could do that all day long, but I think I'd run out of fuel pretty quickly. It hurts your face when you accelerate. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like full Seb's of... complaining. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to the turbos. They'll come up on camera, but they sound really cool. If you like that, we might be able to get it. Should we do like? Oh, oh, that is so cool. And obviously, spotting in London and seeing all of the crazy. Well, when I car spotted in London, it was Mercia Lagos for 
Enzo's, the crazy stuff like that, the turbos hadn't really kicked in. And now that they have, like at first I was a bit skeptical about it, like I was with the double clutch, because for, for me, hearing a single clutch downshift on a Lamborghini Gallardo sounded incredible. It was just like this delay, and then all of a sudden the revs come, and it sounded amazing. So when double clutch cars came, I was like, oh, they sound rubbish because you can't really get the cool downshifts and things like that. But then having driven the double clutch gearbox and how superior it is to a single clutch automatic gearbox, they are leagues apart. And now I'm coming around to the whole turbo idea as well, like just hearing the turbos whooshing and building up. And I think that's just because of the age that we're living in, the smaller the engine and the more turbos on the car, the quicker things go, the more efficient they are and the better they are for the environment. So I feel like I'm doing some good actually in a baby blue McLaren 650S to the environment. We've got lovely trees and forests around with the trees still standing that haven't been cut down yet. First impressions, here we go. I think we can, I think we can move. First impressions are this car is wicked. <laughs> oh man, it just everything is emphasized because the roof is off. So you hear everything, you hear the wind, you hear the exhaust, you hear the turbo. So everything is just emphasized even more and you just get this whole incredible experience. car is cool I like this car and basically how things are gonna work is I'm now gonna start driving because I'm testing this car back to back which is a video coming soon to supercars of London I'm testing the McLaren 650s back to back to the 570 um, I'm gonna be comparing the two cars in a separate video so we're gonna pull over Seb's gonna jump out we're gonna get some really cool exterior shots of this car because I can imagine it looks incredible in the Sun and, um, and then we're just gonna have some fun, so I cannot believe what an incredible day. Let's do some accelerations. Let's put this car through its paces. Oh. I can imagine on a track, this thing flies. And we've got the option of, uh, where is the option? Active aero. Should we do that? Oh, look, they're over there. Is that the air Yeah, brake? the air brakes up. That's cool. Just more blue, the better. I've got the wing mirrors. I've got the whole sort of swooping front end with the three quarters. I've now got the rear and the spoiler. Oh, man. This car is mental. pops on the upshift are very similar to the 570S and obviously not as emphasized or as loud as the 675LT which literally bangs every gear shift which is pretty cool but... Whoa! <laughs> Do you know what the first accelerations have been in winter mode which is reduced power <laughs> no now I've, I've taken it out of winter mode now Wait until the car's straight. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! The car took off. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> oh my god. It spins every time you accelerate, basically. Yeah, yeah. This car, list, is around £210,000. And then once you had options like this car, it is going to come out at £262,000, which is incredibly expensive for a car. Um, but, yeah, it is really cool. The one thing that I would say, and I know that I'm leaking into the comparing it to the 570S, yes, these paddles are a little bit too small. That's the only thing. But I think, as my first experience goes in this car, <laughs> as experiences go for the first time driving a 650S I don't think anything could get better than a day like today in a car respect as well as this baby blue Iridium blue MSO paint £9,000 option with incredible flakes in it this isn't you can't 
can't get a better experience of being introduced into the McLaren brand, into the McLaren Super Series, as this. So I just had to say a huge thank you to McLaren Ascot. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and make sure that you subscribe for the video that is the McLaren 570S back to back with this car, the 650S Spider, comparing the Sport Series and the Super Series, which I am now about to film and try and work out what I need to say. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you love McLaren and I will see you very soon for the next video on Supercars of London. What a day. Yep.